This conference will now be recorded. So. Tell me about the first one, Tiana. What was that? What did you say? Tell me about the first one you did. Tell me about it. Okay, so I debited supplies five thousand cash, and I credited cash five thousand. Then I did supplies on account for ten thousand. So we had two purchases of supplies, one for cash and one on account. So what's the total supplies we had? 15. What's our ending supplies? Oh, the ending supplies is 2,000. So therefore our AJ is what? 13,000. Which is what? The difference between what? 15,000 and 2,000. A difference between fifteen thousand and two thousand. Any questions? No. You see it now, Andre? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm looking at hers right now as we speak. I just, I just didn't get it at first, but now I get it. I right, Jessica, tell me about the second one. My voice is a lot out. <clears throat> oh, that's all right. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm still kind of out of the weather. <clears throat> okay. So it's going to be <clears throat> cash, 30000 and unearned income for 30000 <clears throat> And I did unearned income for twenty, and then sales for 20000 to end up with 10000 left. Okay. So if we multiply 100 times... 200 how much do we get if a, if 300 customers paid a hundred dollars how much is that thirty thousand that's what it looks like oh so it's not supposed to be uh you see that tiana 30 and 200, not 300 and 200. I guess I made the numbers too small, but Jessica picked it up under the weather and all. Okay. <laughs> well, y'all got to feel bad. Jessica been hurting. She couldn't even come to class yesterday. And she's gone and worked these things out. So what do y'all think Jessica's secret to success is? How can she miss class and be sick and still get these right? She was, she, she was What's praying. Say what? She praying. She what? Go ahead, bro. <laughs> so what's her secret to success? Can we resubmit? No, you can't resubmit. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. No, I got, you know what I want me to do. It's, it's not right, bro. It's not right. That's not right, man. Uh, Miss Tian, just, you know, I wouldn't. It's just the clerical error, so I won't take off for that. Did that help you? Yes, thank you. Please, I need you. Okay. Don't grade that one. Please, don't grade that one. Say what now? I said don't grade, don't grade this one for me. Just don't use this one. All right, it's just extra stuff. Okay, so Todd and Beyonce, are you all seeing what they did? Yeah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. So tomorrow you'll be ready. Huh? No. What, what, what's tomorrow? <laughs> I, I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't gonna lie to you, Mr. Mr. Boyd. 
my schedule is made two weeks in advance. I work every Friday at Amazon, so I, I would not be in class. I ain't, I can't drive the van and be on the phone. They got cameras in the van. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, at least you being honest, though. I'm so for real. I work for Amazon. They got cameras in the van. I cannot be like on the phone and in, like I'm so for real. I gotta be working at nine in the morning, and I, I don't finish my route to like four or five, sometimes six. <laughs> okay. Um, both uh today and tomorrow will be virtual. Okay. Will be virtual. We will repeat tomorrow on Tuesday. Okay. So it would be good probably to hear it twice. Wait, what you it would be good to hear it twice. Yeah. What we do tomorrow we will repeat on Tuesday. Man, when is final man? That's all trying to figure out so I can prepare for that. <laughs> Long as it's not on a Friday. And what is the final going to pertain? Like, what is it going to be? What is it going to be over? Okay. Um, next Wednesday, you have a quiz the last hour. And we'll have some theory and adjusting entries in that probably. And then your final, you know, brings together everything we've done in the course. See? Quiz and the final are in class. Quiz and the final are in class. Okay. Calculator only. So you have your final and your quiz with your name on it. And all you need is a calculator. Hey, can you explain that bottom for me real quick just to make sure I got it right? Explain what? The bottom of like the quiz, uh, how we insert and everything. Okay, uh, 10 a month apply wrong, but 300 customers paid $100 for the game in advance. Mm -hmm. so we multiply 300 times 100. Yeah, I got that. 30,000. 200 other customers picked up the games. So once they pick up the games, we will be debiting what? Wait a minute here. Let's see. Uh, let me just switch out of this for a second. I guess we do have a little problem there. I'll go to the sick lady. It should be unearned income and revenue at the bottom, correct? Correct. Okay. So Todd, I guess, was picking that up. So Tiana, when you get the cash, you debit cash and credit unearned income. But when it's earned, you're going to debit the unearned and credit sales. So you're happy because the people have paid for the games in advance, you got the cash. But this income has not been recognized. It has not gone onto the income statement. Once you do perform the services you debit unearned income and credit sales. Do we see that now? Tiana, do you see that? So it's the other way around. It's the other way around. I guess, but I, I don't, I think you are having cash again. Okay. So one of them is, is sales, then one of them I got cash. Okay, if you look at yours, I don't want to go back to it, but in the first one, when you get the cash, you have a, a type four, you debit cash and credit earner and income. Okay. 
when you perform the services is AJE, AJE type two, you debit unearned income and credit sales. Is a companion type of thing. Do we see that now? Yeah. All right, we'll retest on this tomorrow. Everybody is responsible, is supposed to be able to do these two. Everybody is supposed to be able to do these two. So just to, how do we do like the, uh, like when we plug it at the bottom where it says supplies and supplies expense, like all the way at the bottom? Like, I just want to make sure I got that part right. Like, how, how do we do that? We just add what we got on the debits and then the credits, what we have left and subtract, right? Yep. We add the debits together and we subtract out the ending balance. As I said before, if you have 15,000 in the bank at stop during the period, that's what you put in your account. And you got 2,000 at the end, you must have spent what? 13. Okay. So is that right? How she put it under supplies? Yeah. Okay. I'm just, I'm just making sure. I want to make sure I got it right. Okay. So how she has it is right. Then you see the earner and income. When the cash came in, she credited the earner and income. She would have debited cash. See, I thought it was, uh, I thought you put like with, uh, like the 30,000, then I did the 10,000 for the earned earn income, and then I, I put like 20,000 at the bottom instead of 10,000. That's what I was asking. You got 10 left. Yeah. You had 30, right. that was earned yeah. earn a liability. 20 people did the work. But 20 people picked up the game, so you can recognize that revenue now. That's the AJE. You still mm -hmm. got 10,000 in games you got to deliver. So you're a delivery man. Okay. You, you got that now? Yeah, I get it now. <laughs> All right, yeah, I got it. I got it. I, I get it. Yeah. So if Amazon gets $30,000, for deliveries, if you only deliver twenty thousand. Amazon's only earn what? Ten. Twenty. Oh my bad. I, I was I was looking at my computer. Uh, my fault. Then <laughs> like, they won't earn the other ten until you make these deliveries. Well, yeah, you're right. You're right. Because what if you don't deliver? Those people gonna say what? Amazon. Give us our money back. So you're giving us a good example. And we ain't going to give them their money back, man. <laughs> <laughs> now I ain't going to make y'all go out there and work some overtime and get those packages delivered. Professor, <laughs> I submitted the wrong document. Can I email? I me. Oh, you submitted the wrong document. Yeah. So I'm going to email the right one. All right. So I expect everybody to be able to do this. So tomorrow, we'll practice with all the other, all the, uh, everybody's on this again. Please. But for my A students, you'll be working on prepaid insurance and appreciable assets. So you'll be doing something a little different tomorrow. But everybody else gets another chance. And how many strikes are you out? None. Huh? None. How many strikes are you out? Three. All right. <laughs> okay, good. No, we're gonna get no we're gonna get this right, man. I, I, I had the bounce back, bro. It's a counter okay, shit. You so know. Let's plan on getting it right because if I'm stressing it now, what does that mean for that quiz on Wednesday in your final exam? Yeah, it's gonna be all over the quiz and over all over the final exam. Be on it. So <laughs> go on.
times at that point. So you got to be able to get that done. Okay, what else did we work on yesterday? What else did we do yesterday? Cash flow. We did yeah. the cash flow. We did the cash flow statement yesterday, that final statement. And that's an interesting statement. But a lot of y'all didn't turn in my homework. Why didn't y'all turn my homework in? If I got to be honest, I do got questions. Some of it I really didn't, you know, understand. Okay. I'm uh, missing a few classes last week, so uh, I didn't really understand some of it. That's why I didn't turn it in. I didn't want to, yeah. What did I tell you to do? I told you to what? Make the journal entries you knew and send them mm -hmm. in. So if you had made the journal entries that you knew, one, two, or three, or did more, we did three or four last time. If you did mm -hmm. one or two more, you would have got 75%. Uh, you don't have to get it right. You have to try it. Yeah, but with me, I don't like turning in something, knowing it's wrong, you know what I'm saying? Then I don't know if you was going to explain it or go over it or not. Yeah, I was so, going to go over it, but I would it like was, to get points by turning it in. I, I could turn it in right now. It was just like two or three of them. I, I really just didn't uh, quite understand, honestly. I said that if you don't understand something, skip it. Well, when you said this, I don't remember this. I said yesterday. Did I say that yesterday, Beyonce? Can you stop calling on me, please? I did, well, you want me to call you for a journal entry? I'll call on you to repeat something I said. Which one you prefer? Sure, but I don't know what you said to the whole class. I know what you said to me. What did I say to you? That's nobody's business. <laughs> oh, no, man. Let's move on. He said, if you try, that's what matters. And that's what he'll take into account when it comes to your grade. And but I'll pop everything right. <laughs> what? Yeah. I, my bad, Mr. Boy. I got you. You got me. So. Always try, I get a chance to see where you are and what the issues are. But if only two people turn it in, and I'll give Jessica a break because you know she was ill and not in the class. But some of the rest of y'all should have turned something in. And of course, Andre had his auto problems. Everybody has problems. So this is that last statement that you got to be doing now. So when you take your final exam, you now got to do a statement of cash flow. So you got to do a balance sheet, income statement, statement for retained earnings, balance sheet, and a statement of cash flow. Now, because we're doing four statements, you know, I might only have 10 journal entries. Okay, so it's not going to be an over amount of journal entries. You just have to go through the process with those journal entries. You're talking about for the uh, final exam, right? Mm-hmm. Because I am, I'm thinking, I'm looking like, bro, we got to do six tabs. I'm not trying to have 30 problems. <laughs> so but at the end, like I said, we got to get all of those tabs done. Right. By the end of the course, we got to get all of those tabs done. We're doing all the tabs on the final, or just. All the tabs are on the final. No, nah, that's understandable. I just didn't want to have like 30 journal entries and like we don't have that much time to complete that. Because it, it's, I mean, to be honest, it's, it's a meticulous process. Like we got to do a now lot how of many, How many journal entries can you handle, Andre? In, on, on the final exam? Yeah. Shit. It'd be 15. I'll be cool with 15. Okay. I'll be cool with 15. I give it five. Give me, so give me three. Three. <laughs> no, the only reason I say 15 is due to the fact that, like, bro, like, if we get 10, that means if you miss one of those, bro, like, you have a 90. Give so me rather, three. 
I'd rather, rather up my percentage and get 15 journal entries. And if, my, right. if I miss one, I'd be like a 93. Some people or have 15 and some will have 10. Yeah. Okay. All right. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Now, let, let me explain this to you. If you don't understand a journal entry, if you miss a journal entry, uh, you just got a balance. So your journal entry's got the balance. So I'm not taking off. It's not. It's, it's really not what Andre said. Uh, I'm not concerned about one journal entry miss. Right. But the first thing I look at is whether your trial balance is balanced. That's the first thing I look at. And, and so that tells me a lot. Then I, you know, go back to the other part of it. So right. you don't have to have it all right. You just got to try it, but you got to be in balance. So you might miss something, but you got to be in balance. Let's see if we can get the statement of cash flow done. This is not a difficult statement because I've templated out how you do it. I've put a template on how you do it. The purpose of this statement is to look at where you can how much cash you got and where is it coming from? Did it come from operations? Okay. Did your cash come from operations? Macy's sells clothes. It's supposed to get its cash from selling those clothes. Okay. If Macy's gets its cash from selling its stores, eventually its, its operating cash is going to go down. We want to see Macy's expand. So we want this number negative. And finally, in financing, we want to see this negative because dividends are paid and indebtedness is paid. As we said last time, operations to the company is like your salary. And hopefully you've got enough salary that you can buy some things with it. And some long-term assets, a car, a house. Then you, you need enough salary to pay off your student loans and any other indebtedness. So, whenever you look at a company, you look at a, state, a statement of cash flow, how much they got in operations is the key thing. Okay. Now, I gave you this chart, and I tell you what, on statement of cash flow is only what? Journal entries 1 through 11. The only journal entries on the statement of cash flow are 1 through 11. And if we have something higher than level 11, what do we do? If the journal entry is higher than 11, what do we do? I don't know. I will ask. I don't know that part. Uh, we track it out. If it's higher than 11, we strike it out. Why? So why is that? Because we're just concerned with cash. Okay. All we want to know is what cash you have. Now, this chart, you know, and we'll get to it, but if it's a one through six, it is a source of cash. Mm -hmm. It's a source of cash. And then this column is telling you whether it goes in part one, part two, or part three of the statement of cash flow. Then here's seven through 11. These are uses of cash, so they're going to be in the uses side. And it's telling us where they go. Part one or part two, part one or part two. That's what it's telling us. So this is the template, and you should be pulling out your Excel sheet with this template on it, or you can pull up this one. We, you know, what we're concerned with is how much is the cash flow from operation. If it's those journal inches one through six is going to be in the source, whether it's in part one, two, or three, is going to be in the source side. If they're journal entries 7 through 10, they're going to be in the U side. They're going to be in the U side. And then we're going to combine them 
to see how we look. So let's look at that problem. Hopefully, is this the problem? This is the one we had, right? This is the one we had, I hope, right? Yeah, 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 that's it. Okay. So what I asked you to do, what did I tell you to do? I tell you to get a spreadsheet and make each of these journal entries. Which of these journal entries you couldn't make? Uh, so I guess because the wording of it, I didn't know how to do number 14 and 12, really. And number number 13 had me just a little confused because I, I uh, when I was trying to do like the uh, journal entries and all that, I didn't know what to put like for the uh, credit and debit. All right. Okay. You can do the rest of them, right? Yes, sir. I did. I did. Yeah, just about. Yes, sir. Okay. Supplies on hand. What's the and first I, thing? What was the first thing that was on that uh, quiz? On what quiz? We just did? Yeah. I got to go back to it. I ain't going to lie to you. <laughs> well, well, what's the first thing we did? We looked at an AJE for supplies. So you right. purchased supplies paying 100 in cash. Okay. You see that? Mm -hmm. So if the supplies on hand is $50, what's this journal entry going to be? Super. I don't know what this journal entry might be. Supplies on hand is fifty dollars. Say what? Yes, supplies on hand. Yep, fifty dollars. So, what's the journal entry going to be? Oh, don't know. Don't oh, know. So basically, we had, we had step one, right? You're talking about doing like the journal entries, the tier accounts, and all that, finding the transaction type, right? That's what you need? All you need to do is make the journal entry at this point. It's going to be supplies expense, $50 yes. debit, and then supplies, $50 credit. That's all you had to do. Yeah, that's the part I was, yeah. So you see how that pulls right out of that AJE? No. Depreciation expense. Uh, so, so we see that, right? Depreciation expense. Remember, we looked at that. You will simply debit depreciation expense for a hundred. Credit accumulate depreciation for a hundred. It'll be so it'll be fourteen, basically. Say what? It'll be fourteen. And we're on thirteen. Transactional type stuff. I'm saying. Oh, 14, Yeah. Okay. Debit depreciation expense and credit accumulate depreciation for a hundred dollars. Does everybody see that? Yes, sir. Yeah, I see it. Okay. Sold equipment costing two fifty for a hundred. So what are we gonna do here? Sold equipment. That mean you're losing. So Let's see, we can make a journal entry here. Uh, number six, so number six. Yeah. Yeah. We're doing cash, so you're uh sold equipment for costing, yeah, 254. So you got a hundred dollars in cash. Now you got okay, you're right, got a hundred dollars in cash. So we're gonna debit cash, uh, a hundred dollars. That's crazy. Wait, so wait. Wait, but doesn't have to equal out though, because the equipment was the equipment is worth two fifty. And so the equipment was worth two fifty. Right. So that's the asset. Oh, that's so really? We're not balanced. So what we're we gonna do? 
So you said debit cash? Internal adjustment um, entry. So look at your journal entry types for that for that journal entry. What, what does it tell you to do? You have an example of what does it tell you? Uh, it's probably going to tell you what. If you bought something for 250 and you sold it for 100 you have what? A loss on the sale. Mm -hmm. This is loss on sale. There we go. Loss on sale. Yeah, loss. So you put right loss on there, sale. Right? Yeah. Where does it say loss on sale at? Oh, I see it. That was transaction type six. Yep, that's type six. So that's how that general entry would look. So if you didn't understand this, you could have just skipped it. Okay. All right, but now, but now, you'll have all the journal entries. So let's see what we're gonna do with So you supposed so if you made this journal entry, you would have done what? So are we still doing fourteen, right? Doing number one. So are we doing number one? Yeah, we're doing journal entry one. And you the debit the cash and credit the common stock, correct? Yeah. And that would go where in the uh, statement? What part of the statement would that go in? Uh, so what part of the statement I'll go in? Yeah. Uh, and I'll go in under uh, dividends, right? Yeah, so it's, no, that's, that's the issue common stock. So let's go back I mean, to my, our... My bad, my bad, my bad. That'll go, uh, it'll, it'll be like behind supplies. So it'll be like third listed off. Are you talking about in the trial balance of statements? Or are you, you talking about just you said the statement location, right, Mr. Boyd? Right. That would be part three. So here it tells you. So when you make that journal entry, the statement location is part three. So when we go to the statement of cash flow, yeah, for the first journal entry, it's gonna be in part three. Wait, See that? Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait. I don't have, so here's your statement of cash flow, and we got the first and where. Hold on. That's probably why. That's probably why I was confused. I didn't have this shit. Let's see. Statement of cash flow. And I will go is to add up all of the sources of cash. And use it and come out with the net change. All of them here and all of them here. And so we're going to have a change in cash. But where did it come from? So this is a statement of cash flow. So to start this statement, to do this statement, Put you all to work in a few minutes. We did a number of these last time where we made the journal entry and we said what part of the statement went to. But if it's not a 1 through 11, it won't go on the statement. So with cash and common stock, <laughs> cash and common stock, the location was three. Inventory purchased on the count is what? Uh, by 12. So it does not go on the statement. Yeah. Oh, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. When we had the cash sale, that's what? A type two. Where do the type twos go? Part one. Hey, hey, Taj, where'd you find the uh the sheet where it like kind of list off 
like a directory of like statements. It's on the it's on the same it's on the same stuff that he gave us. Uh that he looking on right now. What? The cash and receivables. Okay. Cash and receivables? Yeah, summer twenty twenty two. That's what it's under. Alright, I got you. I scroll all the way down. Yeah, I see, I see. I'm like, bro, what the I see it now. So what I want to have happen now. I want you to do uh, one through nine. So I want you to do one through nine. Skip this one. Okay. Skip seven. Skip seven. So you only have, and we did some of these uh, yesterday, eight to do. Stable cash, bro. So what I want you to do is to turn into me now so you can get some partial credit for the homework you missed. I want you to do journal entries one through eight. Excuse me, one through nine, you can kiss, skip seven. Make those journal entries, and then take it to the statement of cash flow and prepare the statement of cash flow. Any question on what you're supposed to be doing? Uh, I got, I got, I ain't gonna lie to you, Professor. I can't find, like, I don't know where, I understand you, you're telling us, like, the statements and like the cash flow and stuff like that. But I'm trying to figure out where it does. Go to, the, go to that say. Excel spreadsheet I sent you at the beginning of the year. Go to that Excel spreadsheet. We labeled your last name, and last problem. One through nine, seven. And you all do a statement of cash flow with one through nine, skipping seven. Can you do one through nine, skipping seven? No, that's what I'm saying to you, Professor. Like, I can do it. I'm just saying, like, I don't know. What, you're saying what now? Like, basically, like, it breaks, like, is there, like, a document that breaks down the types that we're supposed to be doing? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm looking for. I'm not looking for my Excel this, sheet. I'm looking for it is here. Cash yeah, that. that's that's in the handout that I gave you. I have, but you see, it's telling you where each type of journal entry goes. Okay, okay. It's telling you where each type of journal entry goes. I see. I see. I got. It. I got it. Got it. So you've got to make those journal entries. Put the tag, then put them on this sheet, which is what you have in that Excel, where they go. Okay. Types one through six gonna be on the source side, types seven through ten on the use side. Does anybody else have any questions? Okay, you got until 2.30 to get that done. 
Now, we made most of journal entries. We made most of them yesterday. So you're only doing one through nine. You're making a journal entry. Then you're coming up with the location on the statement of cash flow. Are there any questions? Is this going to be on your final? Are there any questions? So go ahead and work it. This conference will now be I recorded. Know, I don't know if it's right, but I think I got uh, 1,200. Okay, you got 1,200. So let's look at these journal entries that we're looking at. Do we turn it in now? Uh, turn it in at 2.30. I guess it's 2.30 by 2.30, but you're not finished? Yeah, I'm done. So if you about to go easy. over, you know, take them easy points, you know. Stallworth, how are you coming? Oh, I'm okay. Are you about finished? Not yet, almost. Petri? I was done. Give me a few more minutes. Right. I will give you all a few more minutes then. What are, what, are, what are we turning in under? Same place as the other one. I, I extended the time, so. Uh, Could be in class, cash flow in, ca in class problem. Cash flow in class problem, all right. I see it.
talk, it didn't turn it didn't turn into one I just did. It turned into the other one before I edited. I wasn't gonna um go over the whole thing, like the T accounts, the trial balance, like all the sheets at the bottom. This conference will now be recorded. Are we finished now? Yeah, I emailed you uh, off of Blackboard, my updated version. It didn't let me turn in that one I just did when I uh, submitted that assignment.
right. So I tell you to do go through nine, but skip eight. Is that right? You said skip seven. Skip One through seven. nine, skip seven. Okay, hers out a little out of order. Let me just see. You say you email me? Who else submitted? Let me see. Yeah, my number eight is actually number seven. <laughs> Don't pull up mine. Mine look bad. <laughs> pull it up. Pull it up. Dang, that's cold right there. Right. I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it's fine. Mine's piss poop. So, she only did what five? The one we did in class? That's not the one. Oh. Todd, we have to pull you up. Came in. Damn, you gonna do me like that? Yeah, put you on blast. See, that's not even, that's not even the right one, but okay. I I can tell you what I got. You can just pull mine up. I can tell you what I did and what I what I really got. All right, so let's look at the journal entries. First one, cash, common stock, part three. That's correct. Inventory and accounts payable because it's, it's a type, what, 12? We don't yeah. use it. When we make the sale for cash, that goes in part one, but the cost of this whole part we don't use. Buying supplies for cash, debit supplies, credit cash, that goes in part one as a use. Then for the next one, the sales on account and cost of goods sold, we do not use any of them because they're not within 1 through 11. Okay. And did you mess one up here? Yeah, I skipped. Uh, that's number four. I skipped uh, five is above four. Five is Oh, I shouldn't. Okay. Told you don't open it. <laughs> so five is the one that says uh, supplies, debit, cash, credit, part one. And that was a type seven. And then where it says uh, it's supposed to be for number four, it's supposed to be type 15. Uh, cash and sales. Which of these are going to go on the cash flow statement? That's what we want to know. So number one will be be on the cash flow statement. Number one will be on the cash flow statement. Uh, number number three will. So let's put it where so I don't don't worry about them. so number one comes here. We did we did one already yeah we did right. that yesterday. And then for the cat for the number three where does that go? Number three is in part one. How much was? Cash it? Operations, it was uh 1200. It was a type two, though, so it'd be 1200. Okay, type two. Then what comes next year? Buying supplies and cash, you got that right. 100 that goes number five, yeah, <laughs> type seven, it would be going to use, so it'd be a hundred. Then what else do we have? We only had. Number six. Pay salary, that has to come in. That should be in here. I don't know why you left that one out. 200 here. I did it. But, but hours, we skipped seven. Paid on accounts payable. That would come what, right here. So what type is 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 no that's, that's type eight. Number eight is a type eight. Yep. 
See, I had that, and I she think shouldn't I have changed. I, you shouldn't have changed it. Then yeah. collection of receivables attack what? Three. Uh, number three. nine. Yes, type yeah, three. Yeah, yeah, type three. So that five hundred would come here. Dang. Well, that short problem. Your sources should have been what? Seventeen hundred in operations. And your uses would have been what? A thousand. So the net change in operations is seven hundred. Then you had simply from finance, so you subtract to get that net change. Then we had what two hundred cash from uh, what we put in the company. So the change in cash flow should have been nine hundred. That's all it was. How long did it take us to do that? Jessica, are you seeing that okay? Got it. Sour. Yeah, I see it. I'm confused on what that document is that, that you're putting the numbers on. This is the uh, statement of cash flow answer template. And that's that's the word part, but then you also have it on your Excel spreadsheet. You also have it on the Excel spreadsheet. So you got one. You got one in homework to practice on. I think it's due on Saturday. Let's move on to inventories. Talking about inventories. Now we have JJ J. Rowan Company. That's what well, shoe company that's selling shoes. So the question is, can you run a shoe company and sell shoes? Can everybody here run a shoe cutting and sell shoes? Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Right now, we just had service businesses where we debited cash, account receivable, and credit sales. That's all we had to worry about. But now when we sell inventory, we got three entries. First one, we got to buy the inventory. We always buy inventory on account, type 12. That is, the company is going to get the inventory and check it before they pay for it. Then when we sell it, we debit cash or account receivable. But as you saw before, we also debit cost of goods sold and credit inventory. So when you sell, when you buy, here it is, but when you sell it, you take it out of inventory. That is, our shoe company, if it sells the inventory, it does not want to still have them in inventory, okay? And people think we have shoes. So we enjoy buying inventory, but the most important part of this is selling the inventory. Our income statement is going to change. So the income statement that we have now, sales, less sales return gives us our net sales, less cost of goods sold. So now we're going to start to have cost of goods sold to get us our gross profit. Then we subtract the operating expenses to get the net income. So this is the income statement that we'll be using. So we're going to insert the cost of goods sold. So not much of a difference. Cost of goods sold, of course, is goes in closing entry two. Let's assume that we won, we bought one pair of shoes, and we paid fifty twenty dollars for the shoes. 
So we would debit inventory, credit account payable for 20. Then we sold a shoe, we just say we sold it for cash. So we debit cash 50, credit sales 50. But because we sold a shoe, we're going to debit cost of goods sold for 20. And we're going to credit inventory for 20 because we no longer have it. And we always want to know what we made on the shoes. 50 minus the 20 gives us a gross profit of 30000 $30. Can everybody run the shoe store? Can everybody run the shoe store? Yes, but is this in the same? I'm assuming it's not in the cash flow document. This is a different document, right? Yes, yeah, different document. It's in okay. The now, so. Okay, I was just trying. I was trying to get to that so I can be jotting with you. <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah. What, what document that is? That's the, the next. That's the next item in course content. Man, I can't keep up with you. You be moving too fast. I don't know how you be delivering those packages. You probably be late all the time. For people Shoot. That's the delivery. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> I'll be throwing them at people, yards, dogs, everything. Suppose you sold two pairs of shoes that cost 20 each and then sold them for 50 each. How would it look now? You said you bought, say, say it one more time. You bought two, two, get well into the next situation, two. I'm trying to look for where you at right there, though. How far down is that? Uh, we're on the red box. We're on, we make this red. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. So suppose you sold two pairs of shoes. Yeah, yeah. So you had to buy two, so this would be what? Debit inventory for what? 40. Better account payable for 40. And then we sell them, how much we gonna get? You gonna get in return? You are gonna get a hundred total, right? Because they you sell them for fifty each, right? That's what the SP is. Yep. All right, cool. But well, we gonna what? And we're happy to make this entry. So now we're gonna take them out of cost goods sold, credit inventory. <laughs> Now, what does our income statement look like? Sales of 100, profit to sell of 40, gross profit of 60. Yeah. Let's go to the next situation where we sell 10 pairs of shoes. How long? How long? How long? We, we moving up. We selling 10 pairs of shoes. So how many pairs of shoes we got to purchase? Uh, 10. You said we selling 10. We got we to gotta purchase 10. 20 each, so it's what? $200. We sell the 10. How at 50, how much money are we going to get? Well, uh, that's uh, 10, right? 10,000? 10, no, 10 times 50. Oh, 500. My fault. So, we sold all of them, right? Mm -hmm. Oscar, so. Debit two hundred, credit inventory two hundred. So now, how much money did we make? Five hundred. But I thought, I thought it would be three hundred though, because if we bought them for two, or they cost two, and we sold them for fifty each, we don't make. It's not what you make, like your profit, which was three hundred. Is not. It is that how now how you do it? That's how you do it. That's profit, 300. Oh, you put that at the bottom. I didn't even see that part. 
is a gross profit. And that's always that's always what we're looking at. What's the gross profit? Yeah. Now, if y'all get this one right, y'all can leave. Suppose we bought ten pairs of shoes, but we only sold five. Tell me what everything's gonna look like. We bought ten pairs of shoes, we only sold five. You said we you bought ten but sold five. Mm-hmm. Make right. those your own entries. You don't go in no shoe store where they don't have any shoes, do you? No, 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 no. Uh. So we still got to buy 10 pairs of 20 each, so 200, right? Yeah. So how many are we selling here, Leticia? Five of them? So how much money are we gonna get? We're selling five at ten, so five hundred. Right. How much the cost gonna be? Five hundred. Uh, so five of those. So your cost is gonna be two hundred. Oh, because it's. Oh, okay. 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 I see. Five hundred less two hundred is three hundred. But we now have an inventory. What? Five. We got five. 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 Tomorrow, what we're going to look at is what if we pay different amounts of money for the shoes? About some at 20, some at 25, some at 30. So we'll be looking at that scenario tomorrow. Getting into the inventory evaluation methods, FIFO, LIFO, and where did that go? Read this. And we will work on this at one o'clock tomorrow. Could you scroll back down to the last chart we was just at? So I'm no missing the purple values. No I just want to make sure. My fault. Yeah. The one before that one. Not that one. The one before that we just completed. The one we just completed. Yeah, just go a little further. Yes, thank you. I know I missed some stuff. Okay. So go through and fill it. I will go back through this first thing next time. But selling inventory is the last major thing that we do. Say my Hi, Mr. Mr. Boyd. Yes. On um when you say we bought we bought ten pairs of shoes, but we only sold five. So mm -hmm. why is the cash and sales five hundred if we only sold five? That's what I was wondering if it would be two fifty. Is that multiplying that out wrong? Shouldn't it be yeah. two fifty? Yeah, that's what I was thinking, but I didn't want to sound stupid. For which one? For which yeah. one are y'all talking about? The oh, last one. Five. Okay. Right. Because we bought we bought ten pairs, but we only sold five, right? Right. So it should be two fifty. So it should be 250. Okay, that's why I wanted to make sure. I'm like, wait, they don't talk right. right. And they cost us what? Mm -hmm. They cost us uh, 200. Yeah. So that means we only made 50, right? That doesn't sound right. Okay, so we bought 10, so we had 200. Now they cost us 100. No. We only sold five of them. No, they don't cost us a hundred if we bought ten pair. So we bought ten pair for twenty dollars. So that would be two hundred dollars. Yeah. So, the, so the cost of goods would really still be right. It, it wouldn't it still be two hundred dollars? All right. 
inventory, man. What if you don't? What if you don't sell it? Doesn't image? Doesn't Amazon? That mean you just you just not making profit. Eight hundred and fifty dollars. Doesn't inventory? Doesn't uh, Amazon now have items in the warehouse? Yeah. No, some some sometimes. <laughs> I just bought something today. I ordered it today. They delivered it today. Must be nice. <laughs> no. So so that, what, what what does the less the list of cost of goods mean. What, what, do, what exactly does that mean? That means to get your gross profit, you got to subtract it from sales. We're always concerned about what's the gross profit. But see, this, so how I'm thinking of it is, all right, we bought 10 pair, I guess. Because I'm thinking of it like the opposite way. We bought 10 pair, but we only sold five. So really, I didn't, I didn't really make my money all the way you know what i'm saying like i i really i really have 250 dollars left Let's like see. i'm in the whole 250 dollars all right this is the day we we sold five today yeah we just got five more to sell okay then if we sold that five tomorrow we'd recognize the income then yeah but when we sell them so they're in stock you know amazon has Inventory in stock mm -hmm. that they had sold, and when it's sold, uh, so they buy. But you know, you know, nobody buys and sells everything, so you're only concerned with the quantities that you sold. Okay, you're only concerned with the quantity that you sold. Okay. All right, but appreciate so, it. So the cost of goods sold and not cost on hand. That's what you. That's what you're saying. Say that again. So you're saying the cost of, when you put in this hundred dollars because it's the cost of what we sold, not what we have on hand. They they both were the same thing. Okay. We sold five pair. So we took out the cost of that. We still got five to sell. So gotcha. suppose we, let's do this following one. Suppose we sold eight pair. So we buy 10, I got 200 for 10. And we sell eight. So now we get $400. Cost of eight that we sell is going to be what? 160. Our gross profit now is four hundred minus one sixty. What three, two forty? Yeah, two forty. And we have in inventory what? Two pairs of shoes at twenty. Okay. Got it, got it. Understand. Now I get with the bottom part, the five and twenty. That's what you got left. I got you. Hold on. What's the bottom? Uh, this is what you got in the inventory. Five at twenty. I don't get that. Oh yeah, I didn't get that part. My bad. You bought ten at twenty. Oh, I, so see, I see. I see. That's what I got left out of yeah. the. So the twenty. That's what you said. You took your loss at that time. Yeah, yeah. Bit, bit, bit. <laughs> I'm just making sure. Now, you're you're right to a certain extent. Holding, you know, you they got, still got to pay for that inventory. See, yeah, that's how I was looking at it. It's like, all right, I didn't really make my money. I'm just looking at it like short term. For, as of that day, all right, like I just I didn't sell five of them, so I'm really out of two hundred and fifty dollars. I'm really out of. You know, bank bank of the mountain. That's yeah, how I was looking you at it. You only paid a hundred for them. Yeah. You only pay. So you sold some of them, but if you know, no shoe store operates without shoes in the inventory. So they buy them and sell them later. So that's okay. Yeah. So it's not a loss. They just have it in inventory. 
But inventory is not a good thing because you got to pay for it. Yeah, I was just overthinking it. Yeah. Well, it's, it's, it's a natural kind of thought process. So next time we're going to look at tomorrow when the inventory costs different amounts. And we're going to look at these inventory methods. And that last tab that you have on that spreadsheet, the inventory flow chart. When we start to buy a lot of inventory, we got to keep track of it. So we use the inventory flow chart to keep track of the cost. Okay. That's what we'll be looking at uh, next time. Any questions? Are we going to be able to handle it? No, not at all. Oh, time. What about Star Wars? We'll be cool. Tyler will be I'm, cool. I'm, he going to get it. My, I'm speaking for myself. I ain't going to He's it. He's lying. He's going to get it. Well, Kurt might test the extra 35 points right now. <laughs> you might as well. Let God use you. You look like a Christian, man. Let him use you. Come on, I've been praying. <laughs> hey, I, I just need to see. Oh I'm gonna come later. I just need to see. That's all I need, just to see. Oh hey, you gotta be shooting for more than that. Um, hey, look, get what you get. That's how I live. All right, so <laughs> we will go ahead and be first with tomorrow. Probably on Tuesday. Well, I probably meet with Todd on Monday. You don't be working on Monday, will you? No, sir. I don't. I don't work Monday, no, sir. Okay, so I'll meet you on Monday. Yes, sir. Well, I'll email you through the email. But, why, why not? We don't got campus Monday. We don't got school Monday. No, it's the Fourth of July, Taj. It's, hey, it's, it's July Fourth. <laughs> Hey, I've been, I've been out the way. Look, I don't be paying attention to the holidays. If it ain't Christmas or my birthday, I don't care. Would so, Tuesday be online too, or would it be virtual? I mean, I'm in mean campus. Some people like to learn on campus, but probably I'll do an online session from 12 to 1. No, I'm not. Anything you do, it be you teach fast anyway. You gonna do that on Monday? Tuesday, so I work. I get a private uh session. Yeah, I don't you worry said, about Monday. You said Tuesday, you're gonna you're just gonna pick up on this where we left off with this. Well we're gonna pick up on this tomorrow. Okay. Okay. That's fine. I'll be here. On Tuesday, we're just I'm, I'm, we'll just be wrapping up with you all. Okay. I expect you all to have it down after tomorrow. Okay. Okay. But I have email. Wrong Monday. All right. Just give me an email. Email me. So we're yes, gonna sir. keep it virtual until Wednesday and Thursday, which is when we have our te our quiz and our final. Mm -hmm. So no, I'm going to do a virtual session at one twelve to one every day. And then when one. Three, we're gonna be in class. Then other, but there are folks who want to meet. Uh, face to face, so I'll meet them in class. Cool. I may be at both. In class, <laughs> one to three. If I come to both, you you, say you you gonna curve my exam? That's what you said. If I come to both, so that you have to perform. If oh, you come to both, Taj, you not gonna need no curve. That's right. How you sitting out in classes and still need a curve? I, I, I have, have both in I class. I have a learning disability. What you said, Star Wars? Is it in class from one to three? Hey, Google, turn on lights. I'll, I'll go fast with them to a certain extent. But they, you know, I'll, and I'll say how it goes, but if I need to do it differently, I will. But I probably can get a lot of what I need it done at 12 to 1. 12 to 1 is just for select people. Most people need to be in the class. Got it? Okay, well, I'll be in class then. I'll see you. 
that's why I have a class because you like you told me you like to do it do it in class. I do, but I don't know. I need one on one. You be going too fast with them. Well, I'm probably at the end of class since I'm such a Christian man and so dedicated. Mm -hmm. uh, Amen. <laughs> I'll probably meet three to four with people individually if I need to. Okay. Okay. All right. But if some people are going uh, virtual, yeah, it may be a lot of individualized instruction anyway, because mm -hmm. you know they split up. But it's tomorrow in class and online. Tomorrow is virtual. <laughs> oh, just online. Tuesday. Okay, okay. Tuesday. Okay. Tuesday. Tuesday is in class and online. Okay. Got it. Right. So just come to all of it. The more yeah. you hear, the better it would be. Okay. So you all have a good one. And so we look forward. And so it went a little fast today, but that statement of cash flow is not that difficult to do you know, unless you work on it. You were just introduced to the inventories today. You know, we'll have, the, you know, the full time to spend on it tomorrow. We'll get a lot done. Okay. Okay. Thank right. you. See you tomorrow. See y'all tomorrow at 1. Have a good day. All right, y'all too. Bye.